Hey. Yes, we're now getting ready to go and take a tour of Filipino Recreation Complex. Right, so here we have a sign that reads actually it gives the rules of Lupino's complex and it reads Lupino historical complex open Monday to Sunday and all public holidays from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. to the people who like to make mess this is for you kindly use bins to dispose all garbage materials to the ones who like to sit down on table and banisters no sitting on tabletops do not pick any of the fruits on the trees in the complex do not pick any flowers that you may see in the complex respect those who has authority in the complex keep all noise levels acceptable to everyone around under the forest act it is an offense to cut, fell, or remove a tree or plant from state lands without a permit. Alright, that is just a little touch on the roots. Let's proceed. Right there, you could get some cold water. Mm, doesn't work. Charles Joseph Lupino, sugar and cocoa planter, was born in 1738, arrived in Trinidad in the 1800s. From Saint Domingo, he was appointed Brigadier General in the Trinidad Militia and in 1813 was also appointed to the Council of Advice. He later settled in one of the villages of the Northern Range where today the village bears his name. He died in 1819. Alright, so this part here is the jail cell for slaves where Mr. Charles Lopino would have kept kept all his slaves when they would give trouble I, I presume as you can see it have cell bars there so that prisoners can get out um, they put a flexiglass over it to basically protect it because rain could pour inside of the cell so the cell is also used as a cocoa house or coffee house 
has a cooker house next door to it as well. How that would work, they will pour the, they will scatter all the coffee or, or cocoa on top and then slide the roof off. The roof has wheels which it could slide. As you can see, there's the wheel in the roof. Let's see, it could slide right. Over there it have toilet facilities, male and female. So you won't come and do your business in the bush because they're hurting. Right, we have enough seated accommodation for the whole team. Bring everybody. Right. So we still at Lopino and we go in and check out the famous Lopino cave. So up there, that little dark spot up there. That is the cave. We we'll just shine the torchlight inside and see what's going on. Walk up. Going first.
why it has so much roach. All right, well, I gotta make a decision for who wants to go beyond this point. Yes, inside here we can have a lot. But we do mind it to go further down inside. That too much bats. 